Hey everybody, uh, this lesson is graphing uh, g of x equals a times uh, x minus h squared plus k. We learned in the last lesson that this k made the graph go up and down, and this h that was inside of the parentheses made it go uh, left and right right there, okay? And this is called vertex form, so in the next lesson we'll do what's called standard form. I think it's in the next lesson, but that's coming up. All right, let's get started with this here, and don't forget all your lessons can be found at MrMathBlog.com. All right, so here we go. So this is called the vertex form of a quadratic equation. Uh, g of x equals a times x minus h squared plus k, where h, k is the vertex, and the axis of symmetry is x equals this h. Remember, it's your x-coordinate of your vertex. So it's the x-coordinate, this coordinate right here. And the maximum or minimum, depending on if it opens up or down, and this a tells me if it opens up or down, um, is, is your y-coordinate of your vertex, y equals that k right there, okay? So, uh, let's see, so we're going to go ahead and graph the functions in the form of um, vertex form here and identify the vertex and then graph. Okay, here's the first one. So, um, uh, it, I'm sorry, it's not the first one. We'll do that in just a second. So, if A is positive, remember it opens up, and if A is negative, it opens down. And then here's the trick. I'm going to stray away from your textbook. Your textbook wants you to make a table and plot some points, and here's a different strategy that I kind of like, and I like to teach to my class. So, once you know the vertex, which is HK, and once you know it's going up or down, okay, if A is positive, it opens up. If A is negative, it opens down. From the vertex, always got to start from the vertex. As we go to the left and right, we go up and down, okay, so as we go to the left and right, one unit from the vertex, okay, it goes up or down A times 1 squared, okay, and if we go from the vertex again, two units, it goes up or down A times 2 squared. Three units, again, you got to start at the vertex, so when we go left or right, three units from the vertex, it goes up or down, depending on A, A times 3 squared, okay? A times 4 squared if we go 4 units, okay, and so on. So, so let's go ahead and try. We'll graph the quadratic functions. Here's the first one right here. First, identify the, the, uh, the vertex, okay, and I like to say opposite same. So this says plus 1, so this is actually x minus a negative 1. So the x coordinate is negative 1, and this is the same, negative 2. The vertex is negative 1, negative 2, and again, I like to say opposite same okay so the opposite sign and this is the same sign so there's the vertex this guy's going down okay it's going down three times one squared three times two squared three times three squared so it's a times one squared two squared three squared four squared when we go from the vertex over one two three four and so on okay so i did it over here i have this work over here so when we go over one it's going to go down this number, always this number, times how much we go over squared. Okay, so if we go over 1, then it goes down 3 times 1 squared. Okay, 1 squared is 1. Got to square it first, and then times 3 is 3. So if we go over 1, it goes down 3 on both sides. Okay, over 1, down 3. If we go over 2, it's going to go down 3 times 2 squared. Okay, 3 times 2 squared, you got to square that first. So 2 squared is 4, 3 times 4 is 12, so when we go over 2, it drops 12 on both sides, okay? So over 2 drops 12, okay? So I should have wrote the ordered pairs there. I'm surprised I didn't. Maybe I did in the next one. So if I go down 12 from negative 2, that's going to be down there at negative 14. I must have done that right there, okay? So there's our graph right there. And then uh, let's state our maximum right there. Our maximum is at y equals the y-coordinate of the vertex, y equals negative 2, and the axis of symmetry is right here at x equals negative 1, okay? This ordered pair right here is at 0, negative 5, and this ordered pair is at negative 2, negative 5. This ordered pair is at 1, negative 14, and this ordered pair is at negative 3, negative 14. I should have wrote those on there because I did on the other ones. Oh, there they are right there. Okay, and then this is how your textbook will do this, and I, I don't do the uh, table anymore, you guys. I like going over and then down or up A times how much I go over squared, okay? And your textbook will make these tables right here. And that's fine if you'd rather do the tables and plug in these x's. Watch, if I plug in negative 3, okay, negative 3 plus 1 is negative 2. Negative 2 squared is 
is uh, uh, 4, and then 4 times negative 3 is negative 12, and finally negative 12 minus 2 gets us negative 14. Okay, you can do that every time you want with that table right there. I just get, tend to make a little bit careless errors, so I like to do the method I do here. So here's our vertex. Our vertex is opposite same, so 1, negative 7, okay, and this guy is going up. It's going up because of that positive 2, so we're going to go over and then up, okay, over and up. All right, so from the vertex, if I go, now check this out, these, these, I don't know why the, the, this graph was given on, on this problem right here, two squares represents three. So if you think about a third, so if, th if this is, if this is three right there, then a third would be one. So here's about one right there. And then two would be like right about there. Okay, so here's negative three, here's negative six, so I don't know, negative 7 is right about there. So there's the vertex at 1, negative 7 right there. All right, so when we go over, it's going up 2 times 1 squared. Over 1, up 2 times 1 squared. So when we go over 1, okay, so over 1 will take us back there. We're going to go up 2. So we're going to go up 2, so it's going to take us to negative 5, so right about there. So over 1, so right about there-ish, and then up 2 to 5, okay? All right, so there's those two points. Now we'll go over 2, up 2 times 2 squared, okay? So from the vertex, we always got to start from the vertex. So when we go over 2, okay, so we're, we're here at 1, so when we go over 2, that's going to take us to 3. It's going to go up 8, okay? So it's at negative 7, so when I go up 8, it's going to take us up to positive 1 right there, over 2, up eight on both sides okay so there's the ordered pairs and we have enough room to go over three and then up two times three squared okay over three from the vertex up two times three squared three squared is nine nine times two is eighteen so we're gonna go up eighteen okay so when we go over three from the vertex that's gonna be over here at four okay so four would be if this is three right there four would be right about there Okay, so over 4, it's going to go up to 18. Well, 18 from negative 7 is going to be up at 11. So what's that, like right about there? Okay, so over 4, uh, up 18 will take us up there to 11. So go ahead and connect those points up right there and then state the max and the, and the axis of symmetry. I'm sorry, this has a min because it's opening up. And so when it opens up, it bottoms out. So the min is your y coordinate, y equals negative 7. And the axis of symmetry is your x coordinate. So x equals, and I didn't draw that axis of symmetry, so it'll go right, right down the middle of that guy, x equals 1. Okay. All right, let's try another one here. So this one is opening down. It's opening down 1 third of 1 squared, 1 third of 2 squared, 1 third of 3 squared as we go over 1, 2, 3 from the vertex. Vertex is opposite same, so negative 3, 8, okay? So let's go ahead and graph negative 3, 8 right there. All right, and then we're going to go over, and then this one's going down. All right, so I put this one down below down here because I get a fraction on this one. 1 squared is 1, and then 1 third times 1 is a third. So if I go over 1, it's going to drop a third, so like right about there, okay? So what I'm going to do now is go over 3, because that, it, those are easy to take a third of, okay? So go over 3, and then it's going to go down a third of 3 squared. 3 squared is 9, a third of that is 3. So if I go over 3, it's going to go down 3. Okay, and then same over here. When I go over 3, it's going to go down 3, okay? All right, and that's going to give us those ordered pairs right there. All right, now let's go over 6, because I can take a third of 6, okay? So when I go over 6, 6 squared is 36, and then a third of 36 is 12, okay? So we're going to drop 12 when we go over 6. Okay, so over 6 is going to take me over here to negative uh, 9 right there, and then it's going to drop... Uh, 12, so it's up there at 8, so when I drop 12, it's going to take me to negative 4 on both sides, okay, when we go over 6. All right, so connect them up. It's a wider parabola because of the negative one-third right there. Don't forget your max is uh, your y-coordinate, and your axis of symmetry is your x equals, okay? So your max or min is always a y answer, and the axis of symmetry is always an x answer, okay? And this is my x comma y for my vertex right there, okay? All right, and then, uh, so explain how the values A, H, and K change 
um, our vertex form, uh, g of x equals a times x minus h squared plus k, from our parent graph, f of x equals x squared. Okay, so the f of x graph is either stretched or compressed by a factor of the absolute value of this number right here. So if it's bigger than 1, then it's being stretched, and if it's less than 1, like a fraction, it's being compressed, okay? And then um, uh, the other thing is... Um, uh, if a is negative, then the graph gets reflected over the x-axis. And then the h and k, uh, the h translates it uh, horizontally, and the k moves it vertically on that. All right, you guys, if you are in our class, that would be your assignment. And I'm going to click on the next page so you can see the answers to that, too. Okay, so there's the answers to 17 and 19. Whoops, I don't think I had 21. I'll have to, oh, there it is down there. Take care.